Hello, welcome back to Chill Plays. Uh, OBS Studio is getting a huge update coming up. We've been on uh, OBS Studio version 26 here for the better part of this year. And now we're moving up to OBS Studio 27. With that comes a lot of great features and uh, updates. That's why it's called an update. One of those I'm really excited about is called Track Mat Transitions. In OBS Studio prior to version 27, we had stinger transitions, which some people are familiar with. If you don't know what a stinger transition is, it's a time-based transition where you have to have a point in time where the entire screen is completely blocked out. You switch your scenes automatically on the back end, and then it looks like a transition. Now what track mat transitions are, it allows you to use a track mat. And if you've done any video editing or anything like that, you know a track mat is where one thing can bleed into another. It allows us to have transitions where you don't have to cover the screen completely in order to do the transition. I'm gonna show you a stinger transition, which is what I have here. And you see that something came down, covered the screen completely. As it was covered, OBS automatically switched the scene for me. And now I'm on my gameplay scene. So with track mat transitions, I don't have to cover the screen completely so I can have something like this where the transition happens in screen in real time and I don't have to cover the screen completely. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up these transitions. I'm also gonna include some track mat overlays for you uh, free of charge. They'll be on my Google Drive. I'll put those in the description and I'm gonna get you set up with all this stuff so you can have pretty awesome transitions like I just showed you. So uh, after a word from these sponsors, uh, we'll get back to you. All right, we don't have any sponsors. Uh, roll after the intro, we'll, we'll jump on it. All right, track mat transitions. So what I wanted to show you before we get back into it, I wanted to reiterate what the old stinger transition looked like and then also what the new transition looks like. So with the stinger transition that I'm getting ready to show you, the screen will be completely covered up. As it's covered up, the scene will switch in the background and you won't notice a thing. Now with the track mat, this is gonna happen in real time. Again, you'll see the thing come out from the middle. The new scene will be overlaid on top of the old scene and you don't have to have a graphic or anything overlaying this. It just kind of uses the scene that it has behind it. And here we go. And so that's, pretty awesome to me and it's a really huge huge update for OBS so I'm really excited about this now keep in mind OBS version 27 as of right now is still in beta uh, there is a release candidate 2 out that you can download I'll put the link for that in the description but I'm really hoping that any day now we're going to get the full version of OBS 27 as they're crushing these bugs and adding these awesome updates I am super excited about this and the future of OBS as a whole so now we're gonna jump on the computer. I'm gonna show you how all this stuff is set up in OBS. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. I'm also gonna show you the transitions that I created uh, for you free of charge. All this stuff is gonna be available to you from my Google Drive, again, down in the description. I will put the link. So let's go on the computer and let's get to it. All right, so here we are on the PC. Uh, I've got OBS up and running. And the first thing we're gonna do is look at these uh, transitions and where you change those in OBS. Uh, in order to do this, you obviously have to have more than one scene. So I've just added some quick scenes here. Uh, scene one is the camera I'm using. Scene two is an image of a cat in space. And scene three is the greatest character of all time. Fight me. So we want to transition between these. Uh, if you look at your scene transitions here, it's probably defaulted to what's called a cut. Uh, that just simply cuts between scenes. It's a hard cut, hard transition. And again, those are fine, but we're going to step it up a notch. Uh, like I said, this only works in OBS version 27. So this is a new addition. If you're on version 26, you're not going to have this option. I am on version 27 release candidate two. If you want this, I will put a link to the description in the video. You can download an update. Uh, just keep in mind, this is a release candidate. Anyway, back to the transitions. So we want to transition. Uh, whenever you select a scene transition here, it's actually going to apply to every single scene you have. So every scene is going to have the same transition that you have set here. Now, I'm also going to give you a pro tip. You can override individual scene transitions. So if you want to have scene one transition in and out a certain way and scene two in and out a certain way, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. But let's just get to the track mat stuff. All right, so we're going to go over here to our scene transitions. 
we're going to add a stinger. Now we have to add a stinger. It's not going to be a stinger transition, but it does use the same interface. So add stinger. I'm going to call this bubble. You'll see why in a second. And here we have the stinger transition for our track mat as well. You will see down here, there is a use track mat option here. If I click this, you'll see the mat layout. There is same file side by side, same file stacked or same file separate. And it says warning mat can get out of sync, but I'm going to show you something that doesn't, you don't have to worry about that for right now. So the video file, normally what you would do is put your stinger transition here. I'm going to put my stinger movie in here and I'm going to preview the transition and you'll see that it's going to change. Uh, now it's not changing in the right amount of time because what's actually going to happen is I have this set up to a frame and I believe it's frame 24. So it changes on frame 24. Now keeping up with frames and or milliseconds is extremely hard. So that's another way these track mat transitions are actually very, very helpful. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. I'm going to head to my G drive where I have my OBS track mats. Now you'll see a list of track mats I've created for you here. Again, these are all free to you. We're actually going to set the top track to be a blank transition. And all this is, is a blank movie file with an alpha channel so you can see through it. Oh. So blank transition. So if you want to set these up, make sure you use the blank transition as the video file so that the track mat will happen underneath that. So if I preview this and I'm actually going to change frame to time and change it to zero because for these transitions, it doesn't matter time or frame. They just happen as the movie plays. So we're going to set that time to zero. And if I preview this transition, it looks like a cut because nothing's happening on the back end. So I'm going to actually use track mat here. I'm going to use a separate file. I'm going to browse and now I can use any of these that I want. So I called this one bubbles. I should have called it holes. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to preview this transition. And you notice that it takes little whole bites out of the scene until the other scene behind it is fully in view. I'll show you what this looks like in real time. All this is, is a movie file with a alpha channel rendered out and it's two color black and white. So two, any two colors will work as long as they're drastically different, but black and white seems to work the best. If I watch this in VLC, you notice it's just a bunch of black holes coming up. Let's try Let's watch that again. That was pretty fast. So again, it's just the black, black and white holes coming up and all of these are just black and white movies. So I'm going to click okay here. That is all set up. So now when I switch scenes, you'll notice that it bubbles the other scene in front of the other one. And I get this is for every single transition now because it's set as the default scene transition over here in OBS. Now I did say you could change your transition per scene. So let's go to scene two. If I right click on scene two, I have this transition override here and I can select from the transitions that are set over here. So before it shows up in that list, I'm actually going to add a new stinger. I'm going to call this horizontal bars. I'm actually going to use my blank transition again. Time transition point is all zero because it doesn't matter. I'm going to use a track mat with a separate file. And then we'll use horizontal bars and we can preview this. The horizontal bars come across and it changes the scene for us. So now this is going to be my default transition for everything. I'm going to change this back to bubble. So my default transition is always bubble. But for scene two, what I actually want is to override this with horizontal bars. So now anytime I transition into scene two, it's going to use the bar wipes. Now let's set up another one of these really fast because they're super easy to do. So drag this down, add stinger. We're going to call this hex spin. Browse blank transition again. Use track mat, separate file, browse, octagon, 
We're going to preview this. So you see that it's just an octagon that spins out of the middle. Nothing too fancy. Now, again, we added this as the default transition. So we're going to change this back to what we want our default to be, which is the bubble. And instead of scene three being the default transition, we're going to go to transition override hex spin. So remember scene two should be horizontal bars. So that works great. Scene three is the hex spin. So it's very simple, very easy. That's all there really is to it. So there you have it, track mat transitions. It's a mouthful to say, but it really, really sets your stream apart from just the standard transitions or just the cuts and fades or the stringer transitions. Stringer transitions are cool. Uh, it does add flair. Again, like it's got my logo coming up uh, to change the scene, but I think these track mat transitions, uh, you can do a lot with these, especially if you're handy with um, Adobe Premiere or anything like that. So it's fantastic that OBS has added this as an option for us. If you enjoy the content, uh, think about subscribing, like, comment. Uh, I'm always here for questions. Uh, I may not get to them right on, but I will get to them. They may not be correct, but I will give you my best input on those as well. Uh, anyway, a happy streaming. Love you all. Peace.